नमस्कार स्टूडेंट्स कंप्यूटर साइंस क्लास ट्वेल्व इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस म्यूटेबल एंड इम्यूटेबल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फंक्शंस एंड हाउ टू पास लिस्ट हाउ टू पास टपल्स हाउ टू पास डिक्शनरी टू अ फंक्शन एज आर्ग्यूमेंट्स सो दैट चैप्टर इज कंप्लीटेड नाव इन दिस वीडियो आई विल स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज डेटा फाइल हैंडलिंग it is very important part of your syllabus as well as you can use this concept to prepare your project to submit a for board examination so let we begin file handling then i will give you brief introduction about project how to start with your, your project how to do your project and all guide i will provide you through videos so let we begin first data file handling chapter so in this video i will explain you this concepts file handling need for a data file then types of text files binary files and csv so this topic i will cover in this video so let us begin and start so first of all when you are working with computer or working with any programming language basically we are starting our work with files only whatever we are writing on computer everything is saved in file so first topic is what are the files second is what is file handling then need for data file types of files and basic operations on files so these topics i will cover in this video so watch the complete video and understand first then we will start the practical part in next videos so let us start myself sanjay parmar i welcome you all on my channel tutorial aics ip so first files are essential part of computers whenever you work files required everywhere in computers whatever you are saving whatever you are opening whatever you are watching or listening or uh, typing something or reading something all are parts of files only all are considered as a files everything in computers are directly or indirectly saved in files whatever you are doing files saves data in specific form and every files has its own extension so when you are working with files data saves in specific forms and every file has its own extension so like .txt .doc in python we are saving that file with .py so that will be handled by python only .txt will be handled by that txt txt editor or we can say text editor softwares like notepad wordpad notepad++ or other if you are using other operating systems like linux or something then vi editor vim editor these editors are there they are operating these files so basically these files save your data with particular extension and save with particular form after that what is file handling file handling is the process of handling data by a software so every file stores your data in form of bytes one character means one byte so that is stored in the data file the software provides a facility to read write modify data into files so that, that is called data handling or data file handling whatever we can say file handling data handling data file handling all are similar or now need for data file so in python program the data which is entered by user as well as output generated by program is saved on ram means whenever we are working on python let me open one program python then what happens whatever data we are entering through the program that is gets erased when you close or terminate your programs suppose this is one program here i am opening d drive then python programs then any program i am just opening suppose this is square now see i am just running this program and enter the starting value 5 ending value 25 now this output is generated i want to save this output so basically what happens when we are closing this that output and input both will be disappear and it's saved only on ram so when we are closing the data gets lost so what happens when you want to save this file you have to use data file handling concept so to save this data we need data file so that is the main purpose of data file so when we are doing this type of work when we want to save this work we can use data files now types of the files 
there are three types of files handled by python basically there are three types of files first is text files whatever you are entering in python it is considered as string only by default it is accepting as a text that's why we are using that function integer then input like that to convert them into numbers so automatically python accepts text only so that is text files and each text file is terminating your lines with end of line character here i have written that also end of line so let me begin what are the text file saved with an extension dot txt okay whenever you are working with computers whenever you are saving a file with dot txt extension that is called a text file simple it is just handling your text only no images no large data nothing is there only text which we are writing either string which is representing simple alphabets and set of numbers and some symbols can be used it can be opened by a text editor that is notepad in windows we are using notepad to open this file it contains a series of lines that is set of characters or string that will be set of characters each line is terminated by eol that is end of line so when we are ending the line it will consume one character or one byte we can say so every file has specific bytes in text file so that is called text file so where we are saving the string value whatever we are entering that can be saved in text file but it is little bit lengthy or we can say it will consume more memory or it will consume uh, takes more time to execute this file and convert them because computer needs to be converted computer understanding only binary files not text file so they are converting each and every data into binary form and then it is displayed on your screen so that process is done by the compiler or we can say uh, system software of your operating system so it is little bit time consuming and your programs gets more memory or it loads into the memory then it's convert your file and then it will gets the output into text file now the next file is binary files basically binary files it has specific pattern to read your data don't have any other delimiter means delimiter means what when you are ending the line there we have eol end of line character if we are, if we are writing sentence in english we have full stop their line is ending a sentence is ending similarly we are using slash n in our python program to start a new line so similarly in binary files there is nothing such thing like that ki you have to end your line with this specific character so don't have any other delimiter easier and faster than text file because it need not to be converted automatically it can be accessed through some functions so those functions we have to use and we can load that file into our memory and then we can access the data so that is the task of binary files they are fast and easier than text file and then one more type of file is handled these binary files can be considered like large data like text images and all if we are working with text files what we have to do just we can store the file path of particular file and we can represent the data through binary form so that can be directly open by your software whatever whatever software you are making the next part is csv file csv file contains list of data in tabular form so that csv the full form is comma separated values it can be opened by ms excel and text editor if you do not have ms excel then also you can open that in text editor it is capable to handle big data whatever data you have you can store in csv file and you can access it values are separated by comma by default so here in excel whenever csv file you are opening those all columns will be separated by comma if you are opening that file in notepad so that is called comma separated value files so big data suppose if you don't want to use database and you don't want to learn database techniques to handle your data open connection get connection then saving data into database then you need to run some database commands to select create insert update delete and everything that you don't want simply you want to store your data into csv file so these files may helpful and this file works on your simple data whenever you don't want to uh, store your data in large database so where database is not required you can represent your data in simple tabular form using csv file and you can use these files so i hope you understood this concept what are the files what is file handling and what is files types
so in next video i will show you how to start with different operations of file how to do that operations on files so that basic operations we will discuss in next video basically these operations you can consider like that whenever whenever you are opening a file you have one file what you are doing first we are opening it second we are reading from specific location when we are opening suppose this is text file i am just opening one text file so now here the cursor basically jumps here now something i am writing over here then i have saved this file so this file is txt file so one now let me open this file okay one dot txt this one now see when i am reading what happens your cursor basically jumps to the beginning of the file and is you can start the reading so similarly the python ha file handler also read this file after that you can write something more so this is called append so that you can add more data by using append after that you can update if you want to replace something if you want to change something that is update then removing contents deleting then when you complete your work simply we are closing these files so these are the operations basic operations of data file handling that we are performing on file so in next video we will start practical part of this concept how to load data how to access this different files on your computer using python data file handling so thank you very much for watching my video if you enjoy my video if you are learning something from my videos hit the like button and share this video to your friends and if you are coming to my channel first time subscribe this channel and press the bell notification icon to get notified keep watching keep learning